So after we patch the IO USB host family.kex, everything come back perfect now. Since we hit the F4, I want to show you the EFI folder under Clover, ACPI, the origin. That's where all your original extracted by the Clover. So this is your original stuff. So the SDT and the SSDT. And if you look in here, a lot of these things that you don't use. So you're going to remove them. New folder. So all of these are actually Uh, sudo that's why so for the origin we have to screen out the one that is duplicate so we use the 1965 and then rename it so whatever is duplicate we remove it. So now when it's done, I think we can do that. CD origin. Always go to rehab, man. Okay, here it is. This is all the stuff we need, so IASL Okay, so it works now. So here is set imported all of these. So it's working. Okay, so with the origin, you have to find out more to screen out which one is a duplicate, and then you have to remove it. All the DSL. So we're going to patch these. DSL original. Make sure we use the version MASL RM 1.31. So let's duplicate this one. So DSDT original. Hi O. So the first one you want to patch. Okay, so let's see we're already here. Go to preference. You need to add rehab man the link. So you need to go here and copy this link. Right click, copy link, and then you need to paste it in here. After you paste it, you will have all of these patch from rehab man. So the first thing you need to do for me for this particular laptop is layout 12 that's what we use for patching the apple alc to work with idt okay so apply and then we compile and make sure there's no error no error so that's good so the next one you want to do to patch just go down so now we go to the battery so normally i leave the battery in the end okay because we need to try all the battery and see which one works so leave it at the end write it fix there's no zero change that means there's nothing you can patch in here so when you see zero change that means there's nothing to patch so it has to be on the other SSDT we want to have a HDMI so we have to patch B0D3 and also this one I'm going to use layout 12 also which is fine now I try to avoid IGPU so I'm not going to rename it because the less I do the better if I need it I put it because it's sleep and wake 
important thing is the wick here, fix wick. This one's important. So let's do this first. And then the next one, IRQ, you must have. Okay, apply. And then the next one, SM bus fix is a must. Okay. Now, instant wick. When you put it on sleep, it may wick right away. So you can check either 0D or 6D. But this one right here, I know, is 0D. See that? Right here. So apply. And then that's it. So now we need to do Window 8. I always use Window 8. Let's close it and compile it. So no error, that's good. So we're gonna save as, we only do 0D, okay? Also save as, first we do without the battery and see if it's gonna work or not. Sometimes it works. So, dot AML. Now what we need to do is to patch the SSDT. Compile. Zero error. That's good. Save as. Dot AML. Always search for B0D3 and see if they have any. If not, we we have to change to HDAUs. Okay. Compile. This one got a lot of problem here. The packages, that's easy. You see this is the, the closed one right here? So we start right after that. Go all the way down until you see the next name. Delete it and compile. Okay, so this one we can save. And then we can save as dot AML. So I'll do F. Nope, that's none. Good. Compile this one. Zero error. Alternate F. That's none. Okay. So the next one is 7. So compile. Zero error. And also search for. Okay, you have seven of them. Seven of B0D3. So we're going to replace. We're going to patch. Okay, rename all of them. So you see here, they have nine changes. So apply. And also, we need this one to have GFX0. So that means that we can patch the brightness. So a brightness fix as well and brought well. So you have one change, so that's good. Apply. Yep, 0, 8, 2, 6. So we want to do this one also. So I'll compile this one. Dot AML. Button F the zero. So just compile it. We're gonna take all of these three, all the AML we have in here and 0D. So this is patch original. So now we go into our EFI folder ACPI. So I'm going to rename this one old. I'm going to put this one over. And I'm going to 
going to rename it to patch. Okay, so I'm going to open my config. So ACPI, the SDT, I'm going to change this one to the SDT IO original 0D dot AML, right? The SSDT, same sort order, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 7, 8. And this one is from Pike Alpha. So we have to put it in there. And then we're going to put in the patch. So make sure all the one we have here match with whatever we're going in here, right? Zero. Wait, we don't have a zero in here. So we're missing the zero. See that? We didn't copy completely. There you go. We're missing this one. Okay, so now we have an S. So now we're going to boot it and see. So after we boot up, we don't have the battery. So we have to patch the battery. See, if you go to Energy Saver, you push here, it doesn't come up. Okay, so we're going to patch the battery. So at origin, we're going to patch the battery. So we're going to use 17T. So apply. File, save as. Uh, this is 17T. So save as. Save as. Okay. Put this one in here. So we go to config and change the DSDT name to the correct one and reboot. So after we patch the battery, it will come up. 